I made it. I made my goal. Video every day for the month of May. It's crazy to think that the month of May is over. It's crazy. Like, I, f I feel like the month went by way quicker having this goal and doing this every day than like any previous month that I've ever experienced. The plan for this video today was supposed to be a recap video about my experience of trying to do this daily video, what I learned, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and how I think it's gonna help me as you know, a filmmaker, videographer, uh, you know, from here on out. But I started that edit and I just felt like I was trying to rush it and I wanted to put a bit more effort into it. So that video about how this experience went will come out next week, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to get a video out today and I have you know a few other things that are in the works right now and so I just would wanted to share you know one of those things that I've been thinking about a lot lately and that is becoming a minimalist. I have thought about it for a while. Um, I watched the documentary Minimalism on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, like earlier this year, and I think I even started it last summer, and it just seemed pretty cool. And I just have realized that I have a lot of stuff in my house that I really don't need. So what's really helped me to make this change is listening to the podcast that is from the director of Minimalism. His name is Matt Diavella. I mentioned him in an earlier video. But anyways, just listening to his podcast, like just like that lifestyle of like just simplicity and not having a bunch of clutter is something that I'm looking forward to. I've tried to streamline my wardrobe and so right now I'm trying to sell a whole bunch of stuff. And so let me show you around my apartment real quick and kind of just show you some of the things that I'm trying to get rid of. So let's take a look. As you can tell right here, there's a bunch of clothes that I'm trying to sell. Some of my clothes and some of my wife's clothes. These are a bunch of boxes that we're using to sell these clothes, but also a bunch of these shoes. Sorry about the lighting, but I'm selling some of these shoes right now. Like I said, I'm trying to streamline my wardrobe. And so something I've been doing for a couple months now and you guys might think it's nasty, but I just think it's awesome, is I have two pairs of joggers and I wear them when I work out in the morning. I just, I don't work out like, I guess really intensely, like so I don't get like really sweaty and so they don't get like nasty or anything, but I wear them to work out and then I just go straight to the office and work. And so I'll show those to you really quick. Here's my wife. Hello. And then I have a bunch of clothes that I just really don't wear. So I'm just trying to buy like clothes that I can just wear like every day. Just like I'll have like three or maybe four pairs of pants and then like three shirts that I wear and then maybe like a button up shirt or something. I'm not totally for sure yet, but I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of clothes. And so it just would be really nice just to have simplicity in my life and just like not really worry about what I'm wearing and just like focus on more important things like focusing on video creating and just trying to, I don't know, just worry about other stuff besides like what I'm wearing. Um, so like today I, I uh, got some pants and I probably buy just one more. So I have my like four pants that I need and then I'm also I don't know if I'm gonna wear joggers anymore when I work out, and so I have some sweats, and so we're gonna head over to my uh, sister-in-law's house and my brother's house, and I'll show you some sweats that I've you know, tapered in. Well, I didn't taper in. My sister-in-law tapered them in, and then we're adding that kind of like distressed, ribbed uh, kind of look right around, right around the knee, and so I'll, we'll show you a little bit about that process. And so I'll see you at my brother's house. We have made it to my brother and sister-in-law's house. This is my sister-in-law, Lauren. Hey. She is the one that is the master at the sewing machine. And so she has done um, this job on my sweatpants, has tapered them in, and then has also added this little rib section. I'll show you real quick what the finished knee looks like and then the knee that we're about to do. So you can see the starting point. So we'll do a little before and after. 
we watched a tutorial for this and it turns out the guy who was doing the tutorial did it smarter than I did. So what he did was he cut this open so that he could sew across, um, which makes it a lot easier because it, I didn't do that. And so what I have to do is go put this all the way around my machine and it's pretty tight, so it's kind of difficult, but it works, so it's fine. So what you need is just a basic sewing machine. Um, it's just a regular stitch, so you don't need any fancy stitches. It's just a straight stitch, but the catch is you're using a double needle. So this is a double needle. I am using a Singer machine, um, and it's just a regular presser foot. So nothing too fancy, but here we go. all done now I'm heading home I'm gonna edit this video and so that's about it this is the start of my journey of becoming a minimalist videographer hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching it and seriously thanks so much guys for watching my videos throughout this month I hope that you've seen the progress that I've made I know I've noticed some progress in my video skills my video editing skills and a few other things which I'll be talking about when I do my kind of recap video. Anyways, thanks for the support, thanks for watching. If you're interested to follow me more on my journey of becoming, you know, videographer and reaching my goals, please hit that subscribe button. More content will definitely be coming out on a weekly basis. And have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your month of May.